What's up beautiful people? Pretty incredible morning view, sun rising just behind me and a macaw came literally right up to this terrace again and stayed here for probably 10 minutes. Macaws arrived. The kitten has been meowing a lot. This silly kitten <laughs> kept uh, hitting the macaw and trying to grab its tail. Then it flew off. Look, we got another one. Hello. Been up for about three and a half hours so it feels like we're late in saying this but we're heading out to breakfast now there's meant to be a really nice French bakery in Minka town so we're gonna see if we can locate where that is but it's only half nine it's just because we got up early to uh, see the birds hopefully see the toucans but didn't see them this morning so fingers crossed for another sighting sometime soon Gracias. Breakfast. Look good. Great. Good. Time to see if we can find a little moto to rent. Hola. Hola. Uh, cuánto? So. Uh, Seems like it might be uh, quite a little bit of money. Looks like around 120,000 people are offering to us at the moment. She's coming up for 30 pounds for one day on a bike and not even 24 hours to get it back for around sunset today. So we'll see if we can shop around and find a better deal. Here she is.
levels of enjoyment so far? Zero. <laughs> we just realised uh, our friend told us not to rent bikes here, categorically not to mags when we were back in uh, Medellin. But here we are, so uh, got to carry on now. If you're watching, you're right. How was that? Uh, all I'm gonna say is thank you for not killing me. <laughs> some parts of that road were uh, up there with some of the uh, worst bits of road I've driven on. But not quite the top, so it was all right. Can definitely see now why our friend Mags, she told us, when we were in Minka, not to rent a bike. We completely forgot about that. Rented one anyway. And uh, some parts of that were definitely a little bit sketchy. But we've parked up down there. It's about 10 minutes further walking to the waterfall. I genuinely think, because you have to go so slow on that road, you don't even save that much time by getting a bike. But it was, uh, it was pretty fun anyway. So many different bird calls coming from all of the trees around us. Bienvenidos a las cascadas de Marinka. Made it to the waterfalls. 5,000 pesos each entry, just over a pound, and we're here. Oh, what is that smell? No idea. Smells good. Hello. We made our way to the second part of the waterfalls, which is a little bit higher up. Equally as busy, but pretty impressive, eh? Very pretty. Another fun motorbike ride and we've come up to a hostel right at kind of the top of the valley here. It's called Hostel Sierra Minca. Pretty beautiful view. It's overlooking the whole valley. Minca's down here somewhere and it's got all of these hammocks and swimming pool with this pretty incredible view. Paid 10,000 pesos each so like two pounds, two pounds fifty each just to come in and be able to use the hammocks and things. Roll. <laughs> Useless. So, uh, summary? Uh, great for Instagram photos, terrible for anything else. <laughs> Woo!
back now at our hostels. Those, those hammocks were surprisingly uncomfortable, but cool to actually get to go and see them. We had a, a good day on the, well, good day on the bikes? I don't know if I'd call it good. Just a day on the bikes. <laughs> Did you not enjoy it? No, it was more terrifying than anything else. <laughs> Definitely some of the more sketchy roads I've driven on uh, recently. But still fun, nonetheless. We stopped at a little viewpoint on the way back. And then, yeah, just rode all the way back. We didn't want to be caught out in the dark or anything like that. But nice to explore a little bit of Minka. And now we're going to finish our day off, hoping that a toucan comes and lands in this tree here like it did very briefly yesterday. Fingers crossed. Not quite sure what we're going to be doing tomorrow, but really love being in the very green, beautiful, wild space of Minka. I'm gonna finish this one up here. Thank you so much for watching. Big love. It feels, it feels good. good around here. Genuinely one of the scariest experiences of my life. Oops. Never doing this again. <laughs>